Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of uh, Scruffy's Guide to Valheim. Um, I will be your Viking guide this morning. Uh, today I just wanted to briefly explain some of the functionality of the map. So you've, you've got a mini map up in your top right corner, but if you actually hit the M key it gives you a full map, which looks like this. And you can zoom in and zoom out. And it will give you a headache if you do that too quickly. Uh, now when you landed in the game, you landed here in this circle with these four pillars around it. And that's marked on your map forever. Um, but the other thing you can do is it, it, it automatically will mark wherever your bed is. So that's handy. It, that's where you're going to respawn. If you don't have a bed, you're going to respawn over here. But what you can also do is basically draw with these buttons on your map so you can keep a tag of where things are and this will become more important later in the game so if you build a little base somewhere you can go I will click on the fire icon I will double click on the map and a fire has appeared and I can then write safe base or whatever you want to call it um, so that's there if I want to say that's I can left click again and it puts a cross through it, which is, I'll, we'll talk about that in a second, but you can also right click and make it vanish. Now there are resources scattered around the map that you will find, like for example piles of metal on the floor, um, veins of metal hidden under the ground, specific weird trees that you might want to cut down, bosses, all of these things, you can mark them all. So you've got various different things, you can say I've got a fire, got a little house. I like to use this one whenever I find some sort of treasure and I would just go as I have here. I've got one there so if, I, if there was a silver deposit there I would just write silver. Great now I know there's silver there and then what I would want to do is well if I find like a base for example or some sort of burrow something I need to go and attack and clear out but when it's done it's still going to exist on the map so I would mark that with like a hammer call it a I don't know. Troll cave. So there's a troll cave there. Uh, and then it, once I've cleared it, killed the troll that lives in the troll cave, I can left click and then I know I don't need to go back there and do that again. And if I happen to be passing it, if I happen to be passing it, then I can see up on my mini map in the top right hand corner that there's clearly a little red cross through the uh, doodah and I, I don't need to go in there. So that is a brief introduction to how to use the map um, and sort of just a handy kind of some best practice ideas. Put a red cross through things which are clear you never need to go back but do exist on the map. Just delete the things which are no longer there like a big chunk of rock or some silver. Have fun, happy, uh, happy resource gathering and try not to get killed. Till next time, take care, bye bye.